Here we go, another episode. What's up guys, it's Carl here, back with another episode. It's been a couple weeks now since I've had my hands on the brand new Galaxy S10. Of course, I'm gonna compare it to my normal daily driver, the iPhone XS Max, and yes, this is the S10 Plus. And for my giveaway from this unboxing, unfortunately the winner did not get back to me on YouTube, so I am redoing that in today's episode. In order to win, obviously just sub, leave a comment down below which device is your favorite, and just listen to this. If you are the winner, I am sending you a message over on YouTube because so many people scam, email me saying that they are the technical winner, but I see through your lies, I get hundreds of those. So best of luck, let me know, and here is my comparison of probably the two biggest flagships right now that you can buy, either Team Android or of course Team iPhone. The pick will be up to you. So let's of course start with the thing that matters most, which is the De Niro. Both of these are expensive. They're starting at $1,000 for either. If you do spec them up, if you say get the S10 Plus in ceramic, which I do prefer, this guy is the 512 gig, and up here in Canada, this thing goes for near 2,000 bucks with taxes. They are pricey phones. With that out of the way, let's go to the design. And when you hold both, they feel super premium. It feels almost justified that you've spent that kind of money. If you do grab the S10 Plus, I've just got the standard one in optic illusion, optic white. Both devices made completely out of glass with of course metal around the outside. It's just your pick for which color you end up getting. My iPhone XS Max, which I've had since September, has picked up so many scratches on the back. Just keep that in mind if you are buying a new phone, just make sure slightly protected D brand has you hooked up if you wanna keep things super minimal. And this of course is their brand new skin that they have. Samsung still has everything that people still love. It has a headphone jack. You can still upgrade the storage with a micro SD card. Apple on the other hand is known to be very minimal. What you see is what you get. And that storage option that you end up choosing is the finality. Am I making up words? Just keep in mind though, for the design, we have a brand new refresh for the S10, whereas on the iPhone, this is almost two years old as it shares the same design pattern as the iPhone XS. If you can stick around though, wait till September to see what Apple has for the iPhone X1, 11? Whereas this design will stick around for the next two years. That's the normal refresh pattern that we see for smartphones. To the thing that will probably stand out most, which is the notch life. Uh, let's talk about the S10 Plus first. If you have this one, it has that dual cutout display. One of course is a camera and the other is an RGB sensor. Uh, you can see that I've changed my wallpaper here to overemphasize the notch, which you do see. You do get used to it though. And when you compare it to say the notch on the iPhone XS, 10s max but just remember inside of the notch on the iphone you have other sensors like face id whereas over on the s10 all you have is strictly the camera and that's because now to unlock the phone we have the fingerprint sensor on the screen it is by far the best in-screen fingerprint sensor that i've used it's more accurate it works when my fingers say a bit wet but perhaps still not as quick as Face ID. There is still that smallest hint of lag when you press your finger to unlock the device, whereas Face ID, when you bring the phone up, it automatically turns on, senses your face, and we are unlocked. To the displays, and I think this is where Samsung truly shines. 6.4 inches, slightly larger on the iPhone 6.5, it's got Gorilla Glass 6 HDR10+, Plus. it is their Infinity O display. It goes literally edge to edge. Whereas the iPhone, you have the smallest bezels if you are being super nitpicky. Samsung's displays have always been my favorite and they've upped the game in this year. Currently the best display on a smartphone in 2019 to date. And to the thing that you'll probably use second most on any sort of smartphone comes to the cameras. And once again, we have a brand new refresh for the S10. We now have three separate lenses. It's got a brand new ultra wide focal range, which is personally my favorite. Over on the 10s Max, we only have the regular and telephoto. I find that the versatility obviously three is better than two. And as for the photos, I will let you be the judge.
When you now look at performance, it's tough to say as they're both of course running different operating systems. We've got Android compared to iOS. If you look at solely specs, of course the S10 kicks it out of the park. But when you look at benchmarks, which I'm still not too crazy about, the iPhone takes the cake, but in terms of actual performance, I think either performs perfectly. Anything that you throw at these guys, whether it is 3D gaming, multitasking, doing your good old Instagram to Twitter to Facebook switcheroo, flagships for the past couple of years are just beasts. Both are water resistant, but I guess as the S10 is a tad bit newer, it does have some extra perks, like of course, wirelessly charging your devices, like say for example, my iPhone or the Galaxy Buds. And I guess we can quickly talk about accessories because I've got both. We of course have AirPods, the brand new Galaxy Buds, which are cheaper. I still do perform the form factor of AirPods. They just feel more secure in my ears. Maybe that's due to my ear canal size. I've never been a fan of the rubber tips. Like you can see, they don't really fit into my ears that well. But I think that is a personal preference kind of thing. Very curious to hear your thoughts down below. This is the comparison of the behemoths, probably the most popular smartphones that you can get. And of course the Samsung is in fact the best Android device that you can get in my opinion of 2019. Remember to leave a comment down below on your favorite device and you will win whichever one you do end up liking. So best of luck to you all. Be sure to sub to the channel, of course, smash the like button if you enjoyed today's comparison and I will catch the rest of you in one of my next episodes or vlogs. Peace. More secure, for sure.